every once in a while a pear or two gets hidden somewhere in the fruit drawer in my refrigerator and when we finally discover it the pears don't look very pretty but we know that the flavor will be wonderful but no one wants to eat it because it just doesn't look that nice so one way that I pretty it up and make it taste even more delicious is to put them into little individual tarts and they're so easy to make of course I need to peel my pear and each pear gets cut into eight wedges so I'll do that first and get my pear ready to go then mix up a ricotta filling. I've got one cup of ricotta cheese in the bowl and you can see that ricotta is just a creamy color. It's got a fine texture and it's slightly sweet. It's used a lot in Italian baking and cooking but I'm going to sweeten it up just a little bit more with a little bit of sugar and I'm going to add one egg yolk just to kind of hold things together when it bakes and make it nice and firm. And a little bit, probably just about a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Almond extract can be very overpowering, so you need to be a little bit careful. But pear and almond flavor go so well together. And then about half teaspoon of vanilla to give it some nice flavor. And really that's all you need. And then all I have left is to make the crust for my little tartlets. And to do that, I've got some puff pastry found in my freezer case in the refrig uh, the freezer case in the grocery store and all I'm going to do is cut it into four squares and each of these squares will make a little tartlet I've got my little ramekins and you can use really any size ramekin this one's nice and shallow this one's a little deeper but it'll work just as well and all you have to do is just gently press that puff pastry right into your little ramekin and if you happen to get a little tear or a hole, just use your finger to press it together. And then I'm going to put a little bit of ricotta cheese, probably a couple tablespoons, maybe even a quarter of a cup, just enough to make a nice layer in the bottom of my tartlet. And then I'll sprinkle that with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. And now I put the pears on. So depending on the size of your ramekin, you might be able to fit whole slices of pear inside. But each little ramekin or tartlet, you'll need four slices of pears. Look at how pretty that looks. They just fit in there so nice. And then over the top, a little bit more cinnamon sugar. And at this point, they're ready to go into the oven, 425 degrees for about 15 minutes until the puff pastry gets nice and golden brown. The pears will be bubbling a little bit. And when you take them out of the oven, they'll look like this. You can see here I've used two different kinds of ramekins. And remember, one sheet of puff pastry will give you four little tartlets. It's a great way to use up those pears that don't look so pretty anymore. I'm Sue Doden, and I'm all about food.